here's how I make sixteen to eighteen hundred dollars a day renting out my exotic cars. Guys, in my program, I teach my students how they can buy an exotic car and then rent it out using one of my investment operators or IOs and use that system in order to generate passive income. So think about it like this. The exotic car rental companies have an existing business. We're not inventing anything new here. This is literally already in existence with or without us. They're producing these types of returns. And so that gives us the flexibility to be able to choose the cars that we want and not be pressured to hold a bunch of inventory. We don't have to learn the business. We don't have to hold a ton of inventory. We don't have to manage that whole process because guys, these people have figured it out. They're really, really good at what they do. And I work with some of the top people in the entire country because I know that those people are going to rent my car out more than I could personally. So let me continue explaining exactly how it works, but it's fairly simple. The first step is that you want to buy an exotic car. Of course, you may not know which exotic car to buy, and that's totally fine. That's exactly why we have these experts on our teams, because first of all, they can see the market. They can see exactly what's renting, exactly what's not renting. They know what typically rents during which times of the year. Are we at normal levels? Are we below normal? Are we above normal? So all these things have to be considered in order to be able to make that decision. And so they're able to advise us and tell us, hey, well, you know, right now I see that Ferraris are doing really well, or hey, I see that Lamborghini SUVs are doing really well, or you know what, actually McLarens are doing super, super hot. They tend to perform the best in this market or that market. And so they can like literally piece together a strategy for us in order for us to be able to make as much money as humanly possible because they benefit if we make money, right? There's a profit split involved. And so that's a way that I've been able to tap into the resources that they provide as operators and be able to generate passive income for me and for them as well. I know that they're incentivized to rent out my vehicle because they're making money on that too. I'm providing inventory for them and they're providing that management service for me. And we're basically just splitting the profits. Pretty simple how it works. You're waiting for them to tell you exactly which car to buy. So let's say they say to buy buy a Lamborghini Huracan. If you look at the market, you're not really going to see too many around the $200,000 price range. I'd say 220 to 250 is going to be your like pretty decent ones. Now, keep in mind, we're not buying a brand new one. You don't want to buy a brand new Lamborghini. So there's a couple things to consider here, right? They're probably not going to take care of your car. That's first of all. Second of all, they probably are going to drive it like crazy. Not only is the car going to be dirty, it's going to get all scratched up inside most likely, but they're also going to abuse the engine a little bit. And so if we know that this car isn't going to be treated very well, we probably don't want to buy a new one. And we probably want to buy one that has a lot of miles on it, because if we buy something that has 20 or 30,000 miles on it and we rent it out until we get 40 or 50,000 miles on the car. Well, in that case, the value of the car isn't really going to change much because we already had 30,000 on there and now we just have 40, right? So like, what's the price difference between 30 and 40? Sure, there might be a slight price difference, but it's not going to be the same as if you bought a car with 500 miles on it and now you have 50,000 on there, right? It's a much bigger gap. And so that's a really easy way to lose money. And so in order for us to not lose money, we want to protect you. How can we protect you? Well, the first way is to buy a car that's not brand new. We want to buy these cars when they're at a certain point in their depreciation curve to where they're near the stop of the depreciation. The depreciation flattens out at a certain point. So it's pretty steep right at the beginning and then it just flattens out at a certain point, which allows that car some breathing room. It stops depreciating for the most part. It might still depreciate slowly, but these cars tend to go back up in value over time. So of course, if the car is abused and it has a ton of miles on it, that doesn't really apply as much. However, we're buying these cars at a point where we believe we have the highest chance of appreciating. And by the way, that's happened to many of my students. They bought a car, they rented it out for a year, and then they sold it for more than what they bought it for, just because of how crazy the market has been. There has been a giant demand for these cars, especially Lamborghinis. That actually allowed them to profit extra. Not only were they making monthly cash flow from this car, they also sold it for a profit. So they double dipped. So once you've decided what car you're gonna buy, you need to decide how much money you're gonna put down. And so realistically, you could put 20 to $30,000 down. Now, of course, 
caveat, it does not happen with everybody. Not everybody can just put 20 or $30,000 down on one of these cars. Most people will have to put maybe 30 or $40,000 down, sometimes 50. It really depends on the car and the value of the vehicle. But once you've decided on the vehicle, right? Once the experts have told us, hey, buy a Lamborghini Huracan. So you find one for, let's say $220,000. A lot of times the bank will require at least a 10% down payment. So at least $22,000, maybe 30, maybe 40. So if it's not 20, let's say it's 40, 20% 20 down. And so once we put that down payment, we need to think about, okay, so how much money am I making every month? Well, on average, our vehicles rent for 10 to 15 days a month. If we're making $1,600 a day and we're just renting for 10 days a month, that's $16,000 a month that we're making on that vehicle. Now it's getting pretty interesting, huh? If we're making $16,000 a month, renting out this Lamborghini Huracan, remember, we only put in $40,000. Okay, so what type of return is that? So that $16,000 that we're making every single month, that's actually a 40% return. So we're literally making a 40% return month after month after month. Now, keep in mind, you're gonna have to profit split, right? So let's just assume, let's keep the math easy. Let's say it's a 50-50 profit split. So the operator gets 50% for operating this whole business for you. That means cleaning the vehicle, washing it, renting it out, marketing it, photography, services, all that stuff, right? So they're taking care of that aspect for you. So you're splitting at 50-50 with the investment operator, which means you get to keep $8,000 a month, they get to keep $8,000 a month, okay? So that means you're still making literally 20% a month on your investment. And remember, this is all secured by an asset. Now you might be like, well, Austin, what about my car payment? Well, your car payment is paying off the car, right? That money doesn't go anywhere. Think of it as like a piggy bank. You have this piggy bank sitting over here called Lamborghini Huracan, and you're just putting money into it every single month. Now, of course, there's probably an interest rate attached, right? You're probably paying something in interest, but you're probably making way more than that. Remember, we're still netting 20% a month. That's why I always finance these cars because I don't wanna tie up my cash and miss out on another investment opportunity. I wanna finance it, and even if I'm paying four, five, six, even 10% interest, that's a year. If I'm paying 10% interest a year, but I'm making 20% a month, the math makes sense to me. I would still do that any day. Even if I was paying 20% of your interest, I would still do that because I'm making 20% a month on this investment. So of course I'm making that payment every month on the car. So I'm paying off the car slowly, plus I'm cash flowing on top of that. So I can use that cash flow for my living expenses for what I need in order to cover my expenses. So I'm using that cash flow to cover my expenses. And that's exactly how I rent out my exotic cars. Now, of course we have trusted operators in the program. They work only with my students. It's a very exclusive program. If you'd like some more information, make sure you check out my website, austinzellen.com, and I'll see you all on the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.